What we're going over today is a robot fault fix. And what we're working on is a FANUC 50 ID E cell is what I'm calling it. It's a, basically a robot cell that we use for education, so it's slowed way down. It's kind of a smaller robot, and it's all contained, and we can maneuver it to uh, different facilities if we want. It's uh, got wheels, so you can just roll it out the door into a trailer and move to another facility and do a training if you want. So it's a FANUC 50 ID E cell is what I'm calling it. And it's a very common fault that I get on Fanix, and I used to get it all the time on our 100i. And uh, you know, I was working with a guy, and this is how this video came about. And he was getting the fault, and he kept going over and turning the robot off and back on again. And that will clear, but then you got to pick, uh, select the program again, and wait for it to boot up, and things like that. And I showed him how to fix it the correct way, and I don't want to say the correct way because his way worked, but the way I always did it, anyways. And um, he was like, "That's going to save me a lot of time." So I thought I'd shoot a little video on it real quick. Uh, just in case you're getting that fault. The fault is right here. It's run request failed, program 040, already locked by another task. Very common on Phantoms, right? So when I used to get it, and the way I figured out how to get it, because I tried to get it on the 100i, and you know how it goes. You want something to fault, it's never going to do it. When you don't want it to fault, it faults. And uh, I had moved to the 50i, and I got it on that for some reason. So I tried to get it on the 100i, couldn't get it. I got it on the 50i, so here we are doing a video on it, because I got the fault. So the way that I got it was, this is a program here uh, with four points. And what, ha what I do when I program at the very end, so you get down here to end, I scroll back up to point one, I hit shift forward, and then once it goes to point one, I scroll back down here to end, and I put the fifth point in here, okay? Basically because if when you uh, jog it to point one, that's going to make sure that point five, your end point, is going to be the exact same point. That's just the way I do it. Well, when I got the fault, it's when I scroll up to point one, I hit shift forward, and then I'll get this fault. And I get it sometimes, and sometimes I don't. I don't know why it does it when I do that, but that's how I get it. So when you get this, the way to fix it, and I'm going to go out there, and I'll put the screen up, and I'll show you how to fix it on the actual teach pendant, and I'll do it like twice, because I, I tried doing this multiple times on the 50i, and it kept, I kept getting the fault. I couldn't believe it was working on the 50i, but the 100i it wouldn't do that. I don't know why. So, uh, anyways, to fix it, you go function and hit abort all, and then that'll clear it, and then you can go to point one, and it works fine. Why does it do it? I don't know. If you do know why it does it, I'd love to know. Throw it in the comments, because I can't figure out why on some robots it'll do it, some robots it won't. And then the 100i, it used to do it all the time, now it doesn't do it at all. But I don't know, it's just one of them things, I guess. So, what we're going to do now. Let's go out, I'll get it into a fault, and then I'll show you on the teach pendant how to actually fix it. All right, so here we are at the teach pendant, and this is a quick program that I wrote to try and get it to fault like it does. And it did, and I don't really know why, but when I get done with the program, so I wrote, uh, there's only four points in here, and on the fourth point, I was going, I scrolled back up to the first point, and I'm in step mode, and I want to hit shift forward to the first point, and then record it as the fifth point. So basically, it's taking it to the exact same point that you started at. And when I do that, I hold the dead man in, shift forward, I get this right here, run request failed, program 040 already locked by another task. Now, what the guy I was working with did would go over and turn the power off to get that to go away. The way that you actually can do that without having to turn the power off and then reselect the program and things like that is you go function, abort all, hit enter, and then you should be able to shift forward it. And what I'll do now is I'll put it on the robot, I'll hit shift forward, and hopefully it'll go back to the first point. All right, so this is the robot. I just did the um, function and then abort all. We're going to hit shift forward, and there it goes. So just a quick little hint on how if you get that fault to get rid of it without having to turn the machine on and off again. All right, so what I did is I wrote another program the exact same way, and it did it again. So I'm going to show you how to fix this one more time. So I'm going to attempt to move it to point one. I'm going to hit forward. And there's your run request failed, already locked by another task. Now you're going to go to function. See it says abort all, hit enter. 
shift, forward, and you can hear it just turned on and it's running. So that's how you fix that fault or error code or whatever you want to call it. Just a quick little hint to make your life a little easier. So that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next time.